The weather is always a big conversation topic, but this summer a little more so. We see regions where we have heat waves and in others there are floods. The financial markets present themselves almost the same. And this is what I want to discuss with Felix Brill, the VP Bank Chief Investment Officer. Felix, government bond yields are coming back. You said the last time they were more likely to rise. What, is, what has happened? Oh, that's a tough one to begin with. I think it has a lot to do with the Fed. Um, they managed expectations quite well, I must say, maybe a bit too well, in a sense for providing forward guidance on the normalization path of monetary policy. Um, so they highlighted that there are economic risks to the recovery. And this is a reason why they will take it slow. But that led to uh, increased discussion and awareness among market participants on the economic risks. And just in that time and that moment, uh, we've seen some negative uh, economic news out of China, which in the end contributed to the decline in capital market yields. The movement in yields is at odds with the equity markets where we can see record highs. What do you think, which market is right, the bond market or the equity market? I would say both because it's in the end it's a, um, a question of risk tolerance and preferences and we see kind of always, almost a natural division between bond market investors and equity investors. Bond market investors focus more on risks than equity investors. Um, and we've seen that also in the last couple of weeks. And we should also take into account that um, a decline in interest rates uh, is providing a, um, a tailwind for equity markets, especially for sectors like the tech sector. Uh, lower interest rates mean um, higher valuation. But still, where do yields go in the US and Europe this year? That's the million dollar questions, I would say. Um, well, the mix is still there. Um, we discussed last month, namely, we seen on a, first of all, we see the economic recovery still continuing. We see inflation still high, even a bit higher than a month ago. US inflation came out at 5.4% in June, the highest reading in 13 years, so that's quite a lot. And finally, we, as we discussed, we see the Fed uh, preparing markets for normalization of the monetary policy. Altogether, we think this is going to contribute to higher yields. And how does a stronger franc and a stronger dollar fit this picture? Uh, very nicely, uh, actually, because uh, both currencies tend to offer a safe haven uh, protection and um, in, in an environment where market participants just focus a lot on risks, um, then this helps both currencies uh, we think this is only going to be a temporary thing. Uh, we expect both the dollar and the Swiss franc to lose value going, going forward. And last but not least, the pandemic. How do you think markets have dealt with the Delta variant? Quite well so far, I must say. In the beginning there was a bit of uncertainty what, uh, what is going to be the impact of the new variant. We've seen now the impact is not that big. We see a, a lot of progress in the vaccination campaigns and in the end, I think this uh, makes markets quite relaxed. Thank you, Felix. That concludes our view the questions. I hope you can draw some ideas for your own portfolio. I wish you a very good summer and we'll be back in August. Yeah.